Woody Wilmot joined by National Recruiting Director Mike Farrell, up past his bedtime, uh, after four hours after his four o'clock dinner. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Brockermeyer brothers. They commit to Alabama today, Texas legacies. So Mike, how much does this one sting uh, for the Longhorns? It's not good. Um, you know, we knew this was coming for a while and I, I tried not to believe it. You know, I just, in my experience, legacies like this usually end up going to the school that they want to go to. And, and I think at the beginning of this process, the Brocker Myers wanted to go to Texas. Um, but I think the more and more Alabama and other schools recruited, um, the visit to Alabama really swayed things. And the fact that Alabama puts offensive linemen into the NFL draft and high in the NFL draft was a huge key. So, you know, I, I didn't switch my uh, future cast to Alabama till I think like a week ago, just because I, I sort of held out, you know, this feeling that legacies don't go away from home, especially in COVID. Uh, but, you know, this, this, this hurts. This is not good news for Tom Herman, especially at a position of need or two positions of need. Yeah. Uh, it is odd to see, especially like you mentioned, we're seeing guys stay closer to home and now these two go to Alabama. Alabama is really surging. I mean, this is a part of a huge surge for them, but how important is it to, to keep these talented offensive linemen coming in? Because I've felt like at times they've missed on some pretty big targets on the O line over the past few years, but the, not, not this time. You know, I guess it doesn't matter. You know, <laughs> I mean, they keep churning them out. I mean, we got Leatherwood is next. You know, Wills was first rounder this past year. And, and it's just on and on. They keep putting out elite offensive tackles. So, you know, when you look at Tommy Rockermeyer, who's the, the taller and, and, and more agile of the tw twins, he's easy guy that you project as a left tackle. Um, you know, he's going to have his, his, you know, Jonah Williams type career and, possibly go on to be a first rounder. So when you can keep mentioning guys uh, that are going to be first rounders or were first rounders, it's hard to compete against that. I can't remember, you know, Sam Cosme is a very good offensive tackle for Texas. And he's one of the guys that's considered a potential late first rounder next year. But, you know, beyond that, there's not a tremendous track record of highly drafted um, offensive linemen from Texas. So, you know, that that's kind of the bottom line there, but, I never worry about Alabama ever. Um, you know, earlier this year, they were 70 something in recruiting, you know, and they had more decommitments at one point than they had commitments and people were freaking out a little bit. Um, you know, they're in the top 10 now. They'll finish in the top five, probably top three, maybe first. Um, you know, and it's because they put guys in the league. All right. So Mike, not, Mike's not worried about the tide, of course. Uh, by the time people watch this video, they may have another commitment as well based on what, uh, what I'm hearing. So, Mike, thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out uh, Bama Insider for all your Alabama coverage and orangebloods.com for all your Texas coverage. And of course, you can follow Mike on Instagram where he's now verified. Verified. At Rivals Godfather. So check that out. All right. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thanks.